Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is another foundation Friday. Now I apologize for missing my last two Fridays but I had no foundation to review so I legit just came back from Walgreens and picked up a couple foundations. So today I was going to try my very first high-end foundation for you guys but I was like you know what I don't really feel like spending $50 on foundation today but I still end up spending $50 on foundation today. <laughs> Walgreens was having a sale, it was buy two, get one free, so I ended up getting five foundations. So we are covered for the next couple weeks. But I want to try something new today. Two of these are already like my favorites that I've tried. So let's try the Milani foundation. This is their Conceal Perfect 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. So it's their color tan, number nine and I have never tried this before. So this foundation is supposed to be a two-in-one, meaning it's foundation and concealer, and I've got some places that I'd like to conceal, so we're gonna be testing that out today. It also is supposed to be medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long-wearing, water-resistant, take her swimming on the first date, we gonna see about that. And sweat-proof, nice. That means you could take it to the club and dance the night away. So let's just hop right into it and let me start applying this foundation to my skin. All right, so let's get started. I've already put moisturizer on my face. I am gonna put a little bit of a primer. This one is by Hourglass. I wish I had a Milani primer to keep it all in the family. So I'm gonna use a beauty blender. I like to apply it right on the beauty blender. The consistency is pretty thick, so I do think we will get some nice full coverage. Now I usually use a color corrector to get rid of my dark circles, but for the sake of this video, I wanna see how well this is going to conceal on its own. So let's find out. Oh. Oh yeah, this is thick. Now I was nervous to get this one because this was literally the darkest color that my Walgreens had. So I had no other options, but hopefully this one works out okay. On camera, it might look a little too light, but it's actually pretty good. So first impression, I really love the pump on this. It makes it really easy to just apply it straight to my beauty blender. And I do think that it's getting really good full coverage. This was only one pump and I was able to do my entire face and even get down to my neck, which is really impressive. I am gonna grab a little bit more and see how it does with concealing under my eyes a little bit more. Oh, very nice. So although I do love the coverage and I like how easy it went on, the main test for me is how oily I'm going to get in a couple hours. I have very oily skin and this claims to be long lasting, medium to full coverage, but I need to see how long it's actually going to last. So now let me finish my whole face. Much better, if only it was really that easy. Now so far I think I am looking pretty matte. I'm not really into the dewy shiny look because I can get shiny enough all on my own. So I will let this sit for a couple more hours and I will come back to show you how it does. All right, I am back. It is now eight o'clock. That means this makeup has been on my face for four and a half hours. So far I'm only getting shiny in the areas where I always get shiny. So, so far, so good. I'm actually on my way to go see a movie right now and I really want to blot my face because I know it'll be perfect, but I'm not going to do it for the sake of the video. You're welcome. So I will come back and we'll see the final results. Alrighty, it is now 11.30, meaning I've had on my makeup for a total of eight hours and this is the final result. So now I'm going to do my favorite part which is blotting my skin. So we'll see how it would be normally. I probably would not go a full day without blotting. So I'm being a little harsh on it right now. But let me take one of my blotting sheets. Once again, if you have oily skin, you need to get some oil absorbing sheets. These are by Clean and Clear. There's Walgreens brand, CVS, Target, whoever get some. So I'm going to just push down and remove the oil. So here is all of the oil that I removed. Whew, so much better. Now I'm back to my matte finish. Now I will say I do think more of the makeup actually came up on the oil blotting sheet more than just the oil. So a little bit of the makeup actually did get removed by doing that and that's not usually the case. 
Um, but otherwise, my makeup still looks pretty good. All right, concluding thoughts. I love it. This is an amazing drugstore foundation. It definitely gave me full coverage. It didn't really sink into my pores. It doesn't make me feel cakey. It doesn't feel heavy. A little bit did go a long way, so I'm very happy about that. I didn't have to use multiple pumps to get the coverage. I just used one. Now, according to their website, CVS and Walgreens, this is about $10. I technically got it for free with my buy two, get one free little deal that Walgreens had going on. CVS has a buy one, get one 50% off deal going on. But at Target, I actually saw online that they're only $6.99. So probably where I should have went, but look for this on sale. I definitely recommend it and it worked for me having oily skin. If you have tried this or you own it, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and how it works for your skin and let us know what type of skin you have. So that is everything I have to say about the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I love it. I approve it and I will definitely be using this all the time. If you guys want more Foundation Fridays or have some other foundations you want me to try, please leave me a comment and let me know. If you want to be the first to know about what I'm trying next or what my next video is going to be about, make sure you follow me on all social media at Ms. Bianca Renee on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, and you guys will see what I'm using before I even post the video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new foundation videos on Fridays and I post curly hair videos on Sunday, so I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.